Meiosis by kscience.com. In a cell, you've got two sets of chromosomes, one set from mum and one set from dad. The first stage of meiosis is that the chromosome's DNA replicates, so one-armed chromosomes become two-armed chromosomes. The first stage of meiosis is that the DNA replicates. The DNA replicates to form two-armed chromosomes from one-armed chromosomes. Once the two-armed chromosomes have been formed, the chromosomes then line up down the middle. So the two-armed chromosomes line up down the middle of the cell. The chromosomes are then going to be pulled apart from the middle and they're going to be pulled to the poles of the cell from the middle of the cell. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So half of the two-armed chromosomes are going to form one cell and the other half of the two-armed chromosomes are going to form the other cell. So the cells have now divided with some of mum's chromosomes in them and some cells have divided with some of your dad's chromosomes in them. The cells have now divided from one cell with one-armed chromosomes to two cells with two-armed chromosomes in them. These chromosomes are then going to split, the two-armed chromosomes split to form one-armed chromosomes again. And these one-armed chromosomes are then pulled away from the middle to the poles of the cell. So the chromosomes line up in the middle and the chromatids, which are the arms of the chromosomes, are pulled apart. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. These two cells then divide to form four cells. And the cells that are formed are known as gametes or sex cells. In this case, this is happening in the man because four sperm cells are formed. Each of them with half the number of chromosomes as the previous cell. And this is the second cell division of meiosis where the gametes are formed. So meiosis forms four gametes that are genetically different four gametes that are genetically different, whereby you start off with a diploid cell with two sets of chromosomes. And because the DNA replicates and then is divided into two cells, the cell remains diploid. So after the first round of cell division, the cell is diploid. However, the gametes that are formed are haploid. The gametes have got one set of chromosomes in them. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget, to like and subscribe.